Today we're going to talk about how to get the most out of the lists in Sage 50 or Peachtree. There's several ways you can get to them. First, you can go through the list menu and you can open up any of the lists in the program from there. Um, also, from the navigation area, you can click on a button and choose View and Edit and you get to the list that way. Or, from inside any of the task or maintain windows, you'll see a list button up at the top. Now, I think a lot of people really just see these lists as a way to open up an existing transaction. So if you're in sales invoicing, you might click the list button and then just manually scroll through the list until you find the one you want and double click on it to see the details of that transaction. And that's good, that's one of their main purposes, but there's a, a lot there that I think people are overlooking. Um, for example, just finding that transaction originally um, there's some ways you can make it simpler. It's not uncommon for me to get calls from people who are looking at their lists and are concerned because everything is out of order. And they've never even noticed the fact that you can click on any column heading and the list will resort by that column. So let's say you're looking for something that's a specific dollar amount, you can click on the net due or the invoice total and uh, and easily you know, find the amount that you're looking for. If you click on the same column heading again, it'll reverse your sort. So, um, another thing that you can do is you can search. So, if I want to find a particular customer, I can type in their customer ID or part of it up there, hit enter or click the search button, and it's limited to just that. Now, what if I want to find um, something that's not in one of these columns. Well, if you go up to the settings button, you'll get a list of different columns that you can add to your view here. So maybe want, we want to see the whole customer name. We can select it in the list and click add. Or some people want to be able to find things by their customer's PO number. So we can select that and add that to the list also. Now let's take our customer name, we'll highlight it, we'll use the move up button to put the name right after ID. And in order to make room for these new columns, you might want to get rid of some of the old columns that you don't use. For example, period is kind of redundant when you also have the date column in there. So we'll select it and click remove. Click OK. And now you can see that we have the customer name and the PO number in there both. Now, uh, let's say we decide we don't really want the customer PO number on the end. No problem. We don't even have to go back to the settings button. You, you can just grab the column heading, drag it, and drop it wherever you want. And you can adjust column width just by putting your cursor up between two column headings and dragging left or right to adjust the width. Now that we've got our extra columns in here, we can search by those just as easily. So if we want to find a customer PO number, we can enter it in the search field and then choose customer PO, click search. And it helps if you put the right number in there. And now you really can find it. And once you find the transaction you're looking for, of course, you can double click on it to open it, but you can do more than that too. Uh, for example, you can uh, you can print this list, or you can send it to Excel, um, attach it to an email as a PDF, or just save a PDF. And you can run reports from here, or uh, launch other tasks from here. For example, if you right click, you since I'm in the invoice list, I can add a new invoice, I can view an invoice, I can copy this invoice. If you're in Quantum, you can add uh, tracking notes. Um, you have uh, most of those same functions up here on the, on the button bar across the top. And you can run reports. Uh, for example, here I can hit my customer transaction history report, and it pops up already filtered to the customer that I had selected in the list and the task. These will all vary depending on, on um, what list you're looking in right now. I'm going to click on view all customers and it pops up the customer list for me. So from here not only could I double click to open it up in maintain customers 
but I can also run reports from here that will automatically be filtered just like they were in the other window or I can uh, I can uh, perform other tasks like if I select a customer and click create sales invoice Sage 50 will start a new invoice for me that automatically has the customer that I want filled in so I think you can see that if you take just a few minutes to explore the list windows there's a lot of conveniences there that uh, can really help you out and, and speed up your work and just make the software a lot easier for you to use.